Hallelujah. This is Apostle King Favor. Today, I want to briefly teach you the three dimensions of faith. Why is faith so very important? Faith is the dimension of God. If you do not operate with faith and in faith, you cannot operate in deeper levels of God. For you to assess deeper dimension of the supernatural, you need to be a man of faith. That's why you see so many Christians, they have been born again, they live a holy life, they live a righteous life, but still they cannot please God. Because the dimension of God is the dimension of faith. The Bible said in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, it said, without faith, no man can please God. That's why you'll be trying so hard to please God. Despite your your your, your consecration, despite your, your your living right, despite you are holy for we are the holiness of God in Christ Jesus. Listen to me. Despite all this, but yet you still find it a little bit difficult to please God. Why? Because you are not operating in the dimension of faith. It takes faith to work with God. It takes faith to operate in deeper levels of God until you assess deeper dimensions of faith where you trust God totally, you cannot operate in deeper dimensions of God because for you to work with God you have to be a man of faith because it takes faith to work with God the Bible said and God said let us make man out of our own image and likeness, man was not existing, man was there was nothing like men on the surface of the earth but God operated by faith and with faith and said let us make man so for you to operate in the dimension of God, you need to be a man that is operating in deep dimensions of faith. That is why tonight's teaching is very important. Wherever you are, whatever bit your time frame, whether you are at night or in the morning or in the afternoon, this teaching is for you because this teaching is going to change your life. This teaching is going to take you to the next level. This teaching is going to is going to catapult your work with God. This teaching is going to is going to plug you deeper into God because for you to operate in the supernatural, you need to be a man of faith because faith is what makes the supernatural manifest in the natural. So without faith, you cannot operate in God class because God class is the class of faith because faith is what pulls down the, 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 the intervention of Jehovah to intervene in the affairs of men. Listen to me. Faith can cause great things to happen on the earth. Faith can trigger the supernatural. Faith can trigger the unseen to operate or manifest in the scene. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. If you want God to step into your situations, if you want God to step into the scene, you need faith to trigger a certain dimension of the move of God. So today I'm going to be teaching on three dimensions of faith. And I believe that after this teaching, your life will never remain the same. Your destiny is going to be transformed. Today is somebody's for a liberation. Today is somebody's day for a transformation. Wherever you are, start inviting your friends. Wherever you are, I want you, I want, I want to know that you are watching this broadcast. I want you to start clicking like. I want you to start to start sharing this broadcast. I want you to start commenting. Whatever aspect of this message that ministers to you, that speaks into your heart, I want you to write it down. I want you to comment. Use the comment section. Write whatsoever aspect of this message that hits your heart, that touches you, that unveils a secret dimension to you and let us know and, and, and see let us know how much you're following and let us see your response because today is your day for a liberation today is your day for a for, for a change of level many people have been stuck on level a trying to go to level b but they don't know how to go to level b in their work with god they don't know how to go to level c in their work with god they don't know how to go to level d and so and so in their work with god why because they are stuck in the level of faith they are operating in the first dimension of faith they don't know how to move to the second dimension they don't know how to move to the third dimension but after this teaching today, you are going to be able to please God. You are, you are going to be able to move from one dimension to the next dimension and you are going to be operating in the supernatural. There's so many pastors watching right now and, and things are not happening in the ministry. You don't know how to how to operate in the supernatural. I believe after this message, your, 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 your life and your ministry is going to be taken to the next level where you begin to operate in the supernatural, in God kind of class. Labrando, see 
Sikate Brando Ziata, Le Badosh Kaladesh Kaparagi Kate Bronto Ziata. The first dimension of faith is called the measure of faith. Now, this is the measure of faith that is given to everybody. Now, what do I mean? This is the kind of faith, this is a faith, a measure of faith that God has deposited into the life of every believer. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Whether you are a baby Christian or a mature Christian, this is the first measure of faith that God imputes into your life and into your destiny. This is the first measure of faith. The Bible said in the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 3, he said, let no man think highly of himself, for everyone has been given a measure of faith. Now, this is the measure that enables you to come to Christ. This is the measure that makes you believe in that gospel that was preached to you, that Jesus came to die for the world and he resurrected to redeem the world. And so there's a package of salvation waiting for you. This is the same faith that enabled you to believe that gospel, to believe that word that that man of God or that woman of God was preaching to you. This was the faith that the Holy Spirit triggered in your heart that enabled you to open up your heart to total surrender to God, to say, Jesus come into my life, I want to be born again. This is the faith that the Bible said in the book of Ephesians chapter chapter 2 reading from verse 8 to 9 he said for by grace ye be saved through faith this is the faith this is the faith for by grace ye we have saved through what faith so it took faith for your salvation to take place. He said, to them that believe, I gave. To them that believe. To them that believe. So you have to believe the gospel. You have to believe that Jesus really came to die for you as it will be a fairy tale. If the, if the message that was preached to you by that man of God or that woman of God that made you to be born again, if it looked like a fairy tale to you, if you did not believe it, then you wouldn't have been saved. It took your belief. It took a level of faith. It took a level of faith in that world to, to believe in it that yes, this world is real. That Jesus really came and died for me and resurrected to redeem me. And so there's a package of redemption freely available to me that I need to assess right now for my redemption, for the salvation of my soul. Now listen to me. You have to believe the gospel. You have to, you had to, 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 to walk in faith, to accept Jesus into your life. Now, this is the measure of faith that was at work. That was why Romans chapter 12, verse 3, he said, Let no man take highly of himself, for every man has been given a measure of faith by God. So God gives every man that he breathes into, every man that is existing on the earth, God gives them a measure of faith. And when, you're, when that man of God, that woman of God begins to preach to you about salvation, the Holy Spirit moves into your heart and triggers this faith to, to manifest. And so you begin to receive the word, your heart begins to open, and you begin to believe in that word that is being spoken that is being that is being spoken to you and and, and and what happens is your salvation now comes into view so this is the first dimension of faith for which everyone has this dimension jesus said if your faith be as little as a monster seed you can say to this mountain be that removed and be that cast into his ear, into the sea and it will obey you listen to me at this dimension of faith you need to grow and this dimension of faith you need to grow. Though, that, though, that, though your faith be as little as a monster seed does not mean your faith should be should remain little as a monster seed. Your faith must grow. You need to grow that faith because everyone has been given a measure of faith. But the question is, will you keep on operating on that, on that measure of faith or will you grow it? Will you keep on being a baby Christian or will you mature? Will you keep on drinking milk or will you grow to the stage of chewy bones. Now, it's now a personal decision. And I encourage you, wherever you are watching us from right now, whether it be from Asia, from America, from Europe, from from from, from the Soviet Union, from, uh, Russia, uh, Ukraine, from, from, from Africa, wherever you're watching us from all over the world, I encourage you to grow your faith, to grow your faith to a level where you begin to operate in the God class, where you begin to see situations 
situations and begin to command situations to be, where you begin to command situations to go, where you begin to change seasons, where you begin to change seasons and time in the realm of the spirit, where you begin to alter things as a believer, where you speak to devils to leave and devils disappear and devils get out of places, get out of people's body, where you command the sick to be healed and the sick and, the, and that sickness disappear and that man jumps up and begins to walk. Listen to me. I want to I want to steer up your belief. I want to steer up your faith. But by this message, I believe that God is going to grow your faith. By this message, I believe that you are going to move to the next level in your life. Dimension number two. What is the second dimension after this first dimension of the measure of faith? What is the next dimension? The next dimension is the dimension of faith via hearing the word of God. Now in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17, it says faith comes by hearing one and by hearing the word of the Lord. So there are two dimensions embedded in this scripture. The Romans chapter 10 verse 17, it says faith comes by hearing. First of all, faith comes by hearing. Now listen to me. In the time of the woman with the issue of blood, there was no Bible for her to read. I, I presume that she did not even know about God. I presume that she knew little or nothing about God. I, 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 I believe that the blind Bartimaeus knew little or nothing about God. I believe that that man at the pool of Bethesda knew little or nothing about God. But you see, these people, when Jesus came into town, they began to hear that, see, there is a great miracle worker in the house. There is a great miracle worker that just came to town. He's name is Jesus and he's touching people and people are getting up. He's touching the sick and the sick are getting healed. He's touching the lame and the lame is walking and the lame and, and, and the lame people are walking. He's, he's touching the blind eyes and the blind eyes. That blind man that, 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 that we knew that was blind, now he can see. They heard all these stories and their faith began to grow. Listen to me, there's a way you begin, there are things you begin to hear about God God, your faith will begin to grow as you are watching our broadcast. You see Apostle King favor by the special grace of God. God uses him to touch the lame man, the lame man starts walking. God uses him to touch the blind eyes and the blind eyes start seeing. And at that point in time, your faith will begin to steer up. At that, at that point in time, your faith will begin to grow. Your faith will begin to increase. Hearing all these things that God is doing through Apostle King Favor, that you will not come to a point in your life where you say to yourself, if only I can call Apostle King Favor and you can pray with me on the phone. My situation is, 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 is settled. If only I can, I can but just come and touch the cloth of of Apostle King favor. My miracle can be in view. If only I can just view this brokers or view the next brokers and just tap into it, I believe I will be healed instantly. Now your faith is now steering up. Your faith is now growing. Your faith is now increasing. Now that is what the Bible said in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17. It said, our faith comes by hearing. Now these people were hearing of the acts and the wonders of Jesus Christ and they said to themselves that, that, that if only we could uh, we could encounter him if only like the woman with the issue of blood she said to herself if only i can but touch so that is our faith the faith was steered up by hearing that hearing the acts and the wonders that jesus christ was doing so what you hear and what you see and what you perceive are very important as a christian as a Christian, you need not to joke with what you are hearing, what you are seeing, and what you are perceiving because these are spiritual gateways to your soul. These are supernatural gateways to your spirit man. So what you are hearing is important. What you watch every day, even on the TV, on the social media, is very important. If you keep watching and hearing negative things, negative news, negative happenings, your life will begin to move in a negative direction because your thoughts will begin to move in a negative direction and your mind will begin to focus on those things, on those negativity. But when you are watching positive things, you are always, that's why we always encourage 
every one of you always glue to to this ministry broadcast always grew uh, uh, glue to 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 this ministry pages always glue to the ministry whatsapp if you are not on this ministry whatsapp you need to be there the links are on the pages if you can't find the link just write to us and we'll send you the link so that you'll be on the ministry whatsapp so we can pray together and share the word of god like this together listen to me what does that what does that do for your spirit? What does, what does that do for your spirit, man? It helps your faith to grow. That as you are hearing the word all the time, you are hearing life, uh, uh, the, the, the life feed brokers like this all the time. Your faith will begin to steer up. The Holy Spirit will begin to grow your faith. We begin to steer up the faith, the faith of the, 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 the your faith in the inside of you as you are hearing the word of the Lord. So hearing is a very important aspect to increasing your faith because the more you hear of God, the more your faith increases. Now, the second dimension, you say faith coming by hearing and hearing the word of the Lord. So, every time you hear the word of the Lord and every time that you study the word of the Lord, your faith immediately begins to increase. You now get to a level where you now see, you see, you, you begin to read of how the woman with the issue of blood, how she heard and her faith was activated and she touched the hem of Jesus' garment and her life was totally transformed. You now begin to say to yourself that see, if, if this Thing will be written down concerning such people, such a uh, such a specific uh, a set of people, and and really they got their miracle, they got their blessing, they got their breakthrough. Me too, I can get my own if only I can key into God. If only I can, I can, I can tap into God. If only I can speak to my Father, I know He can heal me. Your faith begins to share up just by reading the Word of the Lord. When you begin to read, you begin to see what what even the apostles began to do, what Paul began to do, what the Holy Spirit began to do through the apostles, through Paul, through the life of these great men of God, then your faith will begin to sear up, your faith will begin to increase, that you now get to a level, a point in your life where you now say to yourself that God can do this thing for me. God can do this thing for me. It is only God that I need. I believe that in God is the solution to this my problem. That is the second level of faith. Now, the third dimension of faith, we are moving very quick because of time. The third dimension of faith is when you now, you now, start, drawing, you now start drawing faith from your testimonies. Now, in the second dimension of faith, what happens is this. You begin to have encounters with God. Now your faith is increasing. Your work with God is increasing. Your dimensions, that the dimensions you are moving in God now is now increasing. You now get to a point that you get a healing. Not only do you get a healing, you begin to you begin to receive faith for you to for God to use you to be a point of contact to also reach other people. Now at this dimension, you begin to see your packages in Christ Jesus, where you begin to where God the Holy Holy Spirit begin to unveil to you that see even though even the fact the fact that God healed you he can also use you to heal other people now you begin to go out there exercising your faith now your faith is increasing your faith is increasing now you touch the first person the first person gets healed you touch the second person you pray for the second person the second person gets healed now what what is happening as you keep on piling up all these all these things is that you are piling up testimonies that we now get your faith to the next level now all these testimonies put together we now steer up your faith into the third dimension where the bible said the book of revelation it said we overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the words of our testimony so testimonies are important they are important key to trigger people's faith and that is why in church we encourage people to share testimonies that's why when things when, when god touched the life of people even on the ministry platform we encourage them. We say, do a video concerning your testimony. Do a video. Write it out so people can read it, so people can watch it and be steered up. Because testimonies increases people's faith. That's one of the one of the main reasons for testimonies. For people to know that God is still moving. Listen to me. 
There are some people that still believe that miracles cannot take place. There are still some people that believe that God cannot heal the sick, God cannot raise the dead. There are still some people that believe that miracles died in the time of the apostles, that miracles no longer exist. But when you are not sharing testimonies and you are such people not start reading those testimonies, watching those testimonies, their faith gets steered up into, into, into greater dimensions where they begin to realize that, see, God can do it again. Now listen to me, testimonies are very, very important. They are important keys to grow the faith of believers. That where you now start putting all those testimonies together, you now get to a point in your life where you are faced with certain situations that you know that God, you, 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 you know that God, God, God has saved you from or God has saved somebody that you read about from. Now what happens to you is that though you are in that situation and you don't know what to do, but your faith now will now be steered up. You now begin to say to yourself, I know of so and so, so and so sister, I know of so and so, so and so brother that was in the same situation, and God was able to bring him out. Today, look at where that brother or that sister is today. I know the God that did her own, I know the God that did it for that brother. We also do it for me. Now, this is a level where you're not coming to, where you're not starting. You, you can now boast of God where you can now where you can now where you where, where you are your confidence level in God is now 100 percent where your confidence level in God is now so high because you have seen all the wonderful things that God is doing you are, you are in touch with the move of God you are you are in touch with testimonies you are in touch you are always seeing what God is doing in either in this in the church in that in his house or in the in, out there you are seeing what God is doing whether in on on via this ministry page ministry pages you begin to see what god is doing see the sick heal the lame walk the blind see the the, the deaf hear then you now come to a point in your life that when your ears start start playing a prank on you and it looks as if you are not hearing anymore you say devil get out the god that did it for this person that i watched on on on, on the ministry page the god that did it through the life of apostle King favor, he can do it again for me. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus, ear come into order, ear be healed in the name of Jesus. This is now a third dimension of faith where your faith is now increasing, your faith is now growing. Now your trust in God is now so complete. Listen to me, even sometimes we experience some certain things in our life, but because when we think back, we experience some certain things in our life that things that, that, that naturally would have made us to give up. That naturally would have made us to to quit, but when we look back at what God has done, the things that God has used us to do, we say, "Come on, the God that did it in that time, the God that did it yesterday, the God that did it two hours ago, the God that did it one hour ago, He can do it again." And when we put in that faith, we see God step in and doing it again, again and again and again and again. Listen to me, this is a level you come into where you begin to build trust in God. You begin to build confidence in God. Your confidence level begins to increase. You begin to get to a level where you, where you are not shaken by the wind. You are not shaken by the storms of life. Why? Because your confidence in God is complete. Why? Because you have come to a level where your confidence confidence in God is so absolute that you believe that God can do anything. Where you've not come to a point in your life where nothing can shake you, nothing can waver you, nothing can deceive you, nothing can push you out of the track because you know what God can do. That he that have done it before, he can do it again. Listen to me, these are three dimensions of faith. I'm speaking to somebody right now. Somebody, you're watching me right now. You're, you're feeling neck pains. You're feeling joint pains. You're feeling back pains. There's somebody, there, there is a, there's a sensation on your spinal cord. Right now, I command that spinal cord to be healed. I command that, that, that neck disorder to come into alignment now in the name of Jesus. There is somebody, there is, there is a pain you are feeling in this part of your shoulder, this part of your shoulder. Right now, now I command that pain to be to, 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 to disappear, to get out in the name of Jesus. I command that shoulder to come into order right now in the name of Jesus. I speak the healing power of the Holy Ghost upon that shoulder in the name of Jesus. 
There is somebody, there is something wrong in your rib region, like right here, your rib region, under your arms. But because of that, sometimes there's a way you, you carry your arms, you tend to spread it so that it does not, uh, 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 your hands does not touch your rib region. And, and that is also affecting your breathing. But right now, the, the healing power of the Holy Ghost is touching you right now. I see God liberating you right now. I see the healing power of the Holy Ghost touching you right now. Wherever you are, put your hands upon upon your screen for as many of you that are ill that are sick or believe in God for a healing right now or believe in God for a healing of a loved one I want you to put your hands upon your screen and begin to believe God for a healing begin to tap your miracles right now because I see an angel touching touching the screen right now for those of you watching right now there is an angel touching the screen right now and miracles are taking place miracles are taking place healings are taking place begin to receive your miracles Miracles. Begin to receive your healing. Labranto kotobreketizianta. Begin to receive your healing right now. Begin to receive your miracles right now. Miracles are taking place. That is it. 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 There's a man watching you. Begin to feel. It's like, it's like a cold sensation moving all over your chest region. That is it. The power of the Holy Ghost is touching you. It's touching you. There is somebody you have a you have a problem with your hips, with your hips region. But God is touching you right now. Miracles are taking place. Miracles are taking place. There is a woman, you're a little bit aged and you have a problem with your knee. Right now, that knee is coming into alignment, is coming into order right now. The power of God is hitting you right now in the name of Jesus. I was taken in the realm of the spirit. And I saw somebody who were like involved in an accident. And that accident gave you some certain fracture inside of your inside of your bone as in, in your bones and because of that you are feeling a lot of pains but right now the healing power of the holy spirit is touching those areas in your body and right now those areas of your body are coming into alignment i see the power of the holy ghost touching you right now Holy Ghost, touch my brothers, touch my sisters. Touch them right now. Let there be healings. All over, all over, all over, all over. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I see Jesus. I see Jesus touching you right now. Miracles are taking place. Receive your miracle right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, I feel God so strong in this place. Listen to me. Write to us. No one to hear your testimony. Right to us. God is touching people right now. Right to us. Right to us. There is somebody right now as is taking the realm of the spirit. I saw somebody. The power of the Holy Ghost is so strong where you are. You are it's like it's moving you, it's vibrating you. That is the power of the Holy Ghost touching you all over, touching you all over. Listen to me. Listen to me. The heartbreaks are over. The season of disappointments are over. Listen to me. The power of the Holy Ghost is touching you right now. There is somebody you always feel disappointed every time it is time for your marita settlement you always feel disappoint disappointment but right now the power of the holy ghost is being activated in your life and that season of disappointment is ceasing right now. You are coming into your season of appointment. And there is going to be a marriage in your life. You are going to get married in the name of Jesus. That, that, that yoke, that bondage that be keeping you in one spot. Keeping you from being married. I see that marital yoke be broken now. In the name of Jesus. God is doing awesome things. Right to us. Use the comment section. Uh, 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 write what, how this message has been of impact to you. Write how this message has touched you. Write to us. Perhaps you are not on. You are not, you're viewing this message on on, on 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 maybe perhaps not on this ministry platform or perhaps not on this ministry page. I want you to locate this ministry page by just typing Apostle King Favor. You can type it on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. Apostle King Favor. Apostle King Favor. And it will break out the pages of this ministry right to us we want to hear your testimony by the special grace of god for as many of you that needs a one-on-one -on -one counseling or you want a one-on-one -on -one 
prayer or you want to 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 have a war of the apostle i want you to write to us and we will call you and the power of god will be made manifest in your life it is your season to celebrate and your life will never remain the same till we meet again this is apostle king favor stay blessed thank you jesus mm. You are doing wonders, Lord. You are doing wonders. Miracles, 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 miracles are taking place all over. Miracles are taking place. Miracles are taking place. I see miracles taking place. I see miracles taking place. I see miracles.